What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing a walking dead zombie. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, it's gonna work our way down towards the bottom of our circle. And slowly bring that back up towards the top. Now we're gonna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So start by lining up the top of that circle. We wanna bring that down towards the same height that we have on the left and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to add in the pupils. Let's start in the center of the left eye. Start with a small circle. Now on the right side, we're just going to push this up and over towards the right. From here, we're going to add a fold along the inside of the brow. Let's start from the left side, bend this down, and then bend that back up. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's move to the center and draw on the nose. We're gonna start over on the left, bend this down, and back up towards the right. Now let's step up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's add a fold underneath the left eye. Start from the outside and come down and back up on the inside. And now we're gonna add some wrinkles underneath the right eye. Starting from the inside, bend this down and then up. Step down and add a shorter curve. Now from here we're going to draw the outside edge of the head folded on top of the mouth. On the outside of the left eye, let's step out. It's going to curve this down and bend that in. Let's line this up over on the right side. Now we want to bring this down a little bit lower. Coming around and then in. Now let's add some folds along the top edge. We're going to start underneath the left eye. Bend this down and then up towards the right eye. On the left side, let's step down and add a fold. Coming down and then up. And then going back to the left side, let's just tuck this up underneath. Now let's go over towards the right side, add a fold. Coming down and out. Come down towards the bottom, add another fold. Now at the bottom here, we're just going to curve this out and then down towards the bottom. Now let's tuck the top row of teeth underneath. We're going to start on the left side, then it's out and then down. And we'll round out the first tooth coming down and up. Let's add that same curve going across towards the right side. I'm just pulling that up underneath the head. Now you want to connect each of these points with a curve, going up towards the gum line and then back down. And then again, just repeating this all the way across towards the right. Now before we finish off the lower jaw, let's move back up and draw the top of the head. On the left side, let's leave a gap. I'm going to curve this up and then bend that in towards the center of the head. Let's line this up over on the right side, go up and then in. Now you want to open up the top right side of the head. Start from the middle, bend this around and then in. It's going to add a series of various sized curves going all the way across towards the right. And then from here, we place the brain on top of the head. From this point, let's step in, go up, and bend that down. Add a fold, stepping up, curve up, and then down. Let's go to the bottom right point, step down, bend this around and in. And again, just adding another fold, going around. Let's go back up to the top, add a large curve, going around and then down and then we'll close off this gap with another curve. Let's add some texture inside the brain. On the top, adding a curve, add a fold on top. I'm just gonna randomly place a few more curves along the inside. Now I wanna move back down and draw in the ears. Let's start on the left side. I'm gonna step up, curve the ear going up, down and just bend that in towards the side of the head. Now from this line we're going to add a fold. Going up and out. Go back to the inside and add a hook. Let's tear off the right ear. Starting from this point we'll step up. Bend this up and out with a short line. 
I just want to tear up the edge with a series of small curves going around towards the bottom, curve that back down and in towards the side of the head. Now I want to add some hair along the outside of the head. Let's start on top and left ear, go up and out. I'm just going to randomly place some more hairs along the top. Let's add one on the right side and a couple just underneath the ear. Now you want to add some spots and cuts around the head. Start from the top, come around and up. Another curve. Go back up to the top. And now we're just going to add some randomly sized circles and spots. Now on the right side, we're just going to tuck the back of the head in underneath the teeth. Bring it up and in, and we'll fill that inside area in black. Now we leave a large gap in between the head and the body. So we have the spine coming down towards the collar. So we'll start on the left side, add a curve, coming down and then up. Now in the center, we're going to add the spine, starting right in the middle underneath the teeth, curve down and up, go back to the left side, curve around up. Now it's going to repeat this all the way down towards the collar. In behind on either side. Now from the side of the collar, it's going to curve up and tuck that in behind the spine. And we'll fill the inside in black. Now from the inside of the collar, let's draw two straight lines coming down towards the hips. And then we'll tear out the bottom of the shirt. On the left, go up and down. And do that one more time. And the same thing on the right. Let's curve up the side of the body, going up and in. Now I'm going to wrap the collar around the neck, starting from the top, and goes down and out on either side. Go up and in. I'm just going to wrap the back of the collar in behind the spine. From these two points, let's step up and draw the edge of the pant with a curve. And then we'll add some spots inside the body. Now in the middle, let's step down and add a curve going up and down. And then leaving a small gap in the center, let's go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down toward the left heel. Move over towards right, bend this out and down towards the right heel. Now with the feet, we're going to draw the shoe on the left side and a bare foot on the right. So let's start with the left. Start from the heel and bend the foot coming down and then up. Now you want to round out the top of the foot. We're going to go up toward the top and we'll bend that down even towards the heel and we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the foot. Step up and just trace that curve going up across and then we'll add a toe cap, curving in and then down towards the sole. Now let's move over towards the right side. We're going to start by rounding out the heel, coming down and up, and then the ball of the foot, coming down and up towards the first toe. And then from here we're going to draw a backward C, going all the way around and then back in. Let's layer two more toes along the side, going out and in. That one more time. Let's go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. From this point, we'll step in, bend the leg going out, and then down on top of the left foot. Let's go over towards the right side. We bend the leg going out, and then come down, and we'll bend the foot going out on top of the first toe. Now we want to tear up the bottom of the pan. Starting on the left, go up and down. Just repeat this all the way towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we want to go back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left holding its right arm. So start from the top of the collar, then the arm coming down and then out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to wrap the thumb going around to the top and then down. Round up the thumb and pull that back up. 
Let's add the edge of the palm with a curve. Now I'm gonna wrap three fingers along the outside. Let's start from the side of the thumb with a half oval. Going out and back in. Come down toward the bottom. Draw that again, going up underneath the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. Now with the hand in place, let's layer the right arm in behind. Starting on top of the thumb, start with a short angle line going up and out towards the thumb. Put this in and then up. Let's round out the thumb, come down and then back out. Now you're gonna draw on the first finger. Going out and up. Round out the finger, come down and back in. Let's add the second finger. Going out and up. And then again, rounding out the finger and pulling that back in. Let's tuck the third finger in behind. We're going to step down, pull up, around and in towards the wrist. And we'll draw a straight angle line coming down on top of the finger. Now you want to draw the bottom of the arm underneath the hand. So start down here, draw a short line. Now we're going to draw an oval going in and then back out to the base of the stump. From the inside of the oval, draw a straight line going up underneath the hand. On the inside of that arm, draw the palm coming in and up. And step down, curve the bottom of the arm coming in behind the side of the body. Now just like we do with the pant, let's tear up the edge of the shirt. Starting from the top, I'm going to pull these curves going out. Now over on the right side, we're going to add the stump. Start from the top of the collar. Then it's out and then down. Curve this in and down towards the side of the body. Go back to the top, come down and then in. Now let's go back and add a few more spots across the legs. Start from the outside and then working our way towards the right. And once we complete the spots, we'll sign our artwork and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw a walking dead zombie. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.